Right, well the aim of today's game will be take the battery that we have that came out of here. We've got one that came out of a kid's toy, a ride on. Not sure if it's gonna work, but I've checked it with a multimeter. This is only sitting at four volts, so this is completely done. We probably get away with refilling it with water and recharging it and bringing it back to life because it was a new battery, uh, barely used when it was put away. And I haven't charged it or tried to, so I'm just going to cut the wires off, make them fit onto this battery, link into here, and see if we can get the electric start to work. So, see you then. Alright, well, I cut some wires. I couldn't. The gauge was too thick to fit the holes on the terminals, so I just clipped the clip in and held the wires against the terminals and tried to electric start. Nothing's happening now. I have just opened up the fuse. Yeah, you'll probably not be able to see that, but it is snapped to the center, so I'm going to look for another one of these fuses. I've probably got them sitting about somewhere. So, see what I can find. Right guys, tried, tested, it's not going to happen, so I'm just going to rip all the electrics out of the bike and we'll just run it bare. Prefer it that way anyway. The amount for batteries, other course rectifiers, everything there for the ignition, no point really. It's not like the bike's going to be used on the road, so let's get it gutted. The brains! The brains! It's all been gutted out the bike. I've rigged up a little kill switch here. We'll check it out, make sure it's running. Give it a prime. Sorted. Now the guts are out of it. It'll be more easy to manage. So, anybody looking for the internal? Some of the plugs were chopped off, but I made sure that they were colour coded in a way that they could only go back onto one loom. So, if you're interested in these parts, let me know, because I'll not be using them again. Yeah. That's everything on the bike that we're going to have. I might wire the kill switch up to what used to be the electric start. See if it'll work. Should do. As you can see, front end has been removed. I just undone some bolts. Made sure that the bolts were loose on the sides of the yoke, just on the top yoke, just here and over on this side here. Once they're relaxed, you just undo the middle bolt and knock the top part up. And then you've just got a couple of these bolts that you would have on a BMX stem. And then the forks just slide out. This is the forks over here. And yeah, just a bit of steel wheel them to see how good they are. Surface rust doesn't mean anything, so let's get stuck in it. Well, let's show you these things close up. You see the crystallization of the rust? It's bad. It's worse than just pitted. So I'll see what I can do, but yeah, that's the way they're meant to be, and that's the way they are. So let's get to it. Right, after about 20 minutes of hand sanding, I got them back to nearly metal again. A bit worn, so we'll just hit them with paint just to cover it up. Uh, these parts here, the aluminium parts, I think we're just going to get them all apart and get them polished up. As you can see, it's just lime scale, so we'll try and get them nice and shiny. Catch you soon. Okay, after six hours of spitting and polishing with just elbow grease, excuse the drill and the sandpaper and the polish up there. But yeah. We got ourselves some nearly mirror reflective shine. Got a lime scale off it. 
parts look half decent. Oh yeah. Even done the brake parts. Put all the brake levers on, but now that's the handlebar holders, those parts. Now I'm gonna tape off the forks, get them painted. Just painting over the top of Poundland paint. Simple as that, mate. Okay, so here it is. Painted, oh, it's a pigeon above my head there. Painted in white. Turned out we just hit it with a clear coat as well to keep it on because it was just going to get scratched off anyway. So, middle parts is just paper. It's the stanchion part for the suspension. We'll uncover that soon. But yeah. We might just go with a white and blue theme. Arr. As you can tell, loads and loads of action going on. And if you remember back in the video how rusty and manky these things were, here they are now, all shined up. I forgot that I had to slide the bottom crown down and scored some of the paint. So if it's getting painted in the future, it's probably going to be all one coat. But for now, we have some nice polished up shiny metal yolks. Look lovely jubbly. Can't believe it was the same rusty mess that was there a little while ago. I'll keep them aside. And we'll add them on maybe like we get a hold of some more paint and just get set about on the frame, get everything off it, anything staying on, get it taped up, degrease and sand the frame, and away we go. Don't know when we'll be ordering some paint, but we'll probably do some heat paint on the exhaust as well, just because there's no rescue in it, so yeah, well, there you go. Lovely set of forks. Bye for now, folks.